I have been working on multiple income streams for a while now, and today I'm gonna to share the six different income streams that I have to earn money this year to get us closer to all of our big financial goals. These income streams are a mix of passive income and active income. Passive income is when you have something that is earning money for you and you are not trading your time to create that income. Active income is of course when you are using your time to earn money. So active income is something like a job, it's something like freelance work, things like that. The passive income is stuff I've been working on for a while, and those income streams are between $1,000 to $2,000 a month, but I've also been working on creating them for two years. Passive income is something that sounds amazing where you're not trading your time for your dollars, but it does take either money to get there or time, and that is an investment upfront that you have to put in to get that passive income. So now I'm gonna go over my six streams of income and kind of tell you what they are whether they're active or passive income and share what I kind of expect for the year. So my first income stream and my largest by far is my day job. I am employed full time. I do work eight to five Monday through Friday. I am a salary employee. I work in a kind of administration role and I do enjoy my job for what it provides me because it provides stability. It provides a 401k and a match. It provides FSAs for health and childcare. There are a lot of benefits to having a day job and and I think that can be overlooked sometimes. Having a job, a regular job, is an active income source. You are going to be trading your time for money, so there is a cap on that depending on your field, but it is nice to have stability, and that stability and health insurance and all the things that come with traditional employment can be really, really beneficial for our lives. And let's be honest, most of us have to have a day job in order to build passive income streams. So you have to first have that active income stream in order to build any of the passive income streams you have. So first is investments. My investments earn me money passively on the side that I don't have to worry about, I don't have to think about. Investments can earn you money in a few different ways from the growth of the thing that you've invested in or from dividends, a lot of stocks pay dividends and I do have both of those going on. I do earn money from dividends and I earn money from dividends in my retirement accounts and my brokerage accounts. Accounts. I do love seeing those little passive income streams roll in. It's not a lot because I don't have a ton invested, but it is exciting to see that that's money that is working for me without me having to put in actual physical work. This is a great passive income stream if you have a lot of money. Let's be honest, to get enough to live off of with investments, you have to have a lot in investments, and this is something most people do later in life for retirement, so I don't have a lot invested, but this is an income stream and that income stream should be growing throughout the year as I put more in investments and have more money coming in from my money working without me, just doing this little job on the side passively. My next income stream is freelance work. I do some freelance content and SEO work for some clients and I have dropped that a lot in the last few years because I've been busier with my own projects and of course having kids. So my time to do freelance work outside of work is a lot smaller, but this has been an income stream I've had for the last about 10 years, and it's been really helpful in order to get me to the point where I am now. Freelance work is an active income source because I have to put in the work to get paid, but it's also a nice one because I do tend to get paid more per hour than I do necessarily at my day job. Next income stream is one of my favorites and it is digital products. I sell digital products on Etsy and I am selling them also on my website. I do have a lot of printables, I have some downloads. I do plan to add more things like some workbooks and eBooks, but digital products has been a very passive way to earn money after I've created the product. I created an Etsy shop for my digital products back in 2019, and some of the first products I put up in my shop are still earning me money today. That is pretty exciting. It is an income source that you have to put work into upfront. So you have to open your shop, you have to create your products, you have to do SEO and social media marketing and all of the things that get people to see and consider buying your products. But once that's in place, you don't have to make the product again. You don't have to make a product every time you have a sale, and that is so amazing. A passive income stream like digital products is really helpful, and I have a whole second channel where I share digital product ideas and how to create them and how to sell them. I will leave the link for that down below. If you're interested in that income stream, 
It is a very time intensive one to start, but once it's up and rolling, it is amazing. My next income stream is affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing can get a really bad rap because a lot of really kind of not morally great people take it to extremes. They try to trick people. They are scammy and skeezy and a lot of really bad products have been sold through affiliate marketing, but it's really a great income source. And when done right and when done upfront and with honesty, it's a great benefit for both me and the people that are buying through my links. Affiliate marketing is just when I recommend a product and have a custom link from the company. And then when someone uses my link and they actually make a purchase, I get a little bit of a commission or a kickback. It's very similar to all the different apps that have referral programs, except it is a little more exclusive because generally for affiliate marketing, you have to have an audience or a platform. And because I have that, I am able to get affiliate marketing deals and I can recommend products that I actually like or use. And then when I make sales, I get a commission. It is a lot harder to make money. And so a lot of influencers prefer to get their money up front and do sponsored deals but affiliate marketing is one of my favorite options and it is one of my top income streams online. So my final income stream is actually YouTube. This YouTube channel, my other YouTube channel that I mentioned are great income streams for me. They have been earning me anywhere from a thousand to $3,000 a month in just ad revenue. And that has been really, really amazing. It's helped us pay off debt. It's helped us build an emergency fund. It has been so beneficial to have this income stream on top of all my others. If you're a YouTuber, you probably know that you YouTube is a lot of work, so it's not like I just put up videos and then magically earn money. It does take work to learn the platform, to learn how to film and edit and make things that are good enough that people want to watch. I have put in a lot of work to learn these things and I'm still not the biggest channel around, nor will I probably ever be, but it is a platform that I really, really love and have learned so much about and love to earn money from in a way that is hopefully sustainable and helpful to people because I really value being helpful. And that is one of the reasons why this is my favorite income stream, because it feels really good to get paid when you are helping other people. It does, it just, it feels really good. And this is also one of the income streams that is kind of a mix. It is both passive and active income. YouTube is a active income stream because I have to film videos and edit them and do all this work and then put them up and that gets me paid when I make ad revenue. But it's also passive because the videos that I've made last year or 2018 or 19, those videos still can earn me money and they do. I actually have one very old video that is still earning me like $50 a month and that is an amazing thing to have. YouTube is a passive and active income stream. YouTube is one of my favorite income streams, of course, and I love making videos and helping people on the platform. So I hope to keep growing this income stream and maybe one day it will be my biggest income stream. We will see. But having this as a passive and active income stream is kind of my favorite mix. So it's definitely at the top for me and it has been in the past year the most lucrative side income outside of my day job. So those are my six different income streams I have built over the past two years. I'm very excited and very happy that they're all working out. I really feel like multiple income streams is really the way to go because if one disappears, you have the others to fall back on. I would love to hear what income streams you have or are planning to create in the new year. Let me know in the comments below. Tell me all your income streams or which ones you would like to create first. There are all sorts of studies that say millionaires have an average of seven income streams. So that's definitely my goal to hit. I would love to have seven, but right now we have six and that is pretty good for us. I'm super excited. Multiple income streams are the best.